The lovely example in front of us is using a circular attachment with the decorative stitches. Now I've actually got one of these and I love it. It's I really love simple to do too, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. They're very easy to use. You can get some fabulous effects with them just by sort of thinking outside the box a mm -hmm. little bit sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and again, you can use them with all the different feet on your machine. You can use them with the different stitches because it's not physically altering how the machine sews. It's just moving your work as you're mm -hmm. sewing it. Yes. So, Yes, yeah. absolutely. So, um, and here we've got um, the candle wicking stitch, yep. is it? And the French knots. And, and the candle wicking stitch. And this on is the other one, again, yeah. six and seven. And what, what's been done here is, and this is a really great way, if you're not sure of anything, do some samples out, put them through the photocopier. Oh, wow. And then you can cut them up, and then you can actually, I'll pop it onto this one, you can actually use these as templates mm, right. on your work. So it just makes life much easier. And again, keep them all in a little folder. Yeah. And so so yeah. with with the samples then, I can see we've got some samples here yeah. that are, are semis. Yes. But some whole ones. Yes. So which which so. is the best to do? Or are they just different processes? They're just different processes to do it. So you can, if we look on here, let me just pop this down over there, we can see where these have come to the stitching on the back. Oh, yeah. And then and, stops and over the, the half finishing circles. Knot and the scissors. But equally, if you're not really confident doing that, there's nothing to stop you doing it on a whole piece of your yeah. patchwork fabric and then splitting it afterwards and rejoining them that way. And this was done on stitch and tear and then yes, it has been torn off so, been so we can off, see, yeah. see the finished yeah. result. Yes, It is. It's, it's just a beautiful. different way of finishing your quilting. Yes, and you can yeah. combine lots and lots of and different ways. And actually, there ways. are a lot of there are a lot of projects, well, certainly mm. in Patrick, that do use circles yeah. as as motifs. Yeah. I mean, another one over there, which would be fabulous for a border. The little one. This one. This, this little one. one. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that would make a fabulous border wow, around a quilt, wouldn't, wouldn't it? Just even if you sort of you're doing yes. an heirloom quilt for yeah. somebody in some really nice um, creamy Drunk, fabrics. Drunkard's path. Drunkard's path. Drunkard's path. Pine you with could halves, again. It? Yes. Absolutely. It's just, and again, you know, photocopy that when you've made them, cut them up and just play with the pieces with paper. to see where they go, yeah, yeah. rather than yeah. stitching out lots of samples. Absolutely lovely. So it really is, a, it's a different way to finish your quilts and to add a lot of nice stitches to them. So I think using decorative stitches and these lovely variegated mm. threads is, a, is thinking outside the box it a is. bit. It is. I speak to so many people at shows and exhibitions that go, I won't use all those stitches. I know. But I think if you sort of look at them, you will use them. Yes. It's just playing with them slightly different see way. See them as, yeah. as effective as this. So yeah. you're going to show us how? I am going to show you how to put the circular attachment on. It's very easy. What I Here we go. Here's one I made earlier. So we've got the circular attachment. They, there's three different types, so you need to make sure that you've got the right one for your sewing machine, okay. the one for here. If you look on the back, it's because these slot into, because you can see it's mine. Yes. Nobody runs off with it. Mm. They slot into the cover here. The other thing I will mention briefly, <laughs> a lot of the feet and accessories have all the instructions printed inside the cotton. And so many people uh. just take them out of the packet and throw the packet Looks away. Looks like packaging, doesn't yes. it? So yes. So you just, you know, always have a check and see what's inside it yeah, as well. Absolutely. But they are very easy to put on. These, so we just take a little bobbin cover out. I usually put that inside the package in there so I don't lose it. Yeah, that's the bit I'm, I'm always yep. This literally it just sits for. in there. Oh, gosh. Some of the others just click in, but this with the easy set bobbin, okay. they're so easy to use. You've got the little screw here, which again, it goes in. And I can get it in. There you go. Hold on a minute. I've got a little screwdriver here somewhere. I usually have one about mine. Here we go. And does go. it help to be left-handed? Sometimes, <laughs> and not always, but sometimes it does. I'm used to doing things both I ways. I was going to say, I have learned. Yeah. Yes. So again, just that little tiny quarter turn, yes. just Extra. to make sure that it's it's really yes. fixed on there well. Okay. And they're very simple to use. It's a little slider mechanism. So you see the little clip here, and we just move it. And again, you've got markings for centimetres and inches. Right. So that you can sort of decide what you want, okay. then the camera can pick up, we've got little arrows either side, so you can see where you've set it. Now when you've set it where you want to, you literally just press that clip up, so it's not going to move. Right. So that holds it in place. And what does that do? It actually holds it in place, yes. but this gives you the... And then what? Circle, I'm going to pop this on now. Here we go. I'm just using some felt oh, again. Oh, It's yeah. a little pin. Oh, okay. Mind your fingers, yes. they're very sharp. Oh, wow. And again, I will just pop it on, pop that on. Okay. Normally I would mark the centre point, obviously. 
So that's the centre that of the my centre circle. That's the centre point of your circle, balls. and you can put okay. it to whichever size you want. Okay. Pop that back on because that is very sharp. Yeah. And then okay. literally, I'm going to put the presser foot down, the needle in, and we are on a straight stitch. Hang on a moment. So let's just pop back onto our decorative. A pretty, pretty one. We said six or we'll seven. We'll go didn't we? on to number seven, I seven. think, this time, You're which right. is here. Decorative stitches. There we go. Yeah. So needle in, foot control. <laughs> And then literally, because you're, you're not actually, let me just take this thread here. Let me just lift the foot up. I've just got our little thread here. There we go. Pop that through. Done that first. Um, because you're not actually, fundamentally, you're not altering how the machine is sewing. You are literally just altering how the fabric's moving through it. So we'll just guide it through. You don't have to push it or anything. You don't have to push it or pull it. Is, uh, uh, this has got... It's got three layers, because you've got the, but the same thing ha will happen as as with your yeah, little bit of felt it here. Took a little, tiny bit faster. Yeah. Sometimes if I've got something really bulky, I may just keep my finger on the top of the pin. Mm -hmm. But again, I would never actually race around these circles yeah. because the machine's doing quite a lot of work, and it's yeah. just fascinating to watch. Yeah. You could nothing oh, would wow. stop you with doing the lovely yeah. heirloom decoratives. But you could use font with it. You could do Happy Christmas on an arc, or yeah. Happy Birthday, or incorporate it in your labels. Even I was going to say the centre of a quilt might. But you might have to watch, even though it's got this lovely mm. space. You might have to watch it a bit. Huh? You can't go off and yeah. make your coffee. No, no, no. Certainly <laughs> not. Let it go. And again, right, it make sure that there's no drag on it. Yes. So yeah, I'm thinking that particularly yeah. here. I mean, that might be nice to be doing a medallion quilt. So you could do oh, some lovely wow. circles in the middle yeah. and then build up yeah. out, and again put the borders in yeah. with a half circle. But I am on. thinking too, dressed at the, you know. The drunkard's path because all yes. oh, dressed in plates, yes, where they or grandmother's fans. Yes. There are all these semicircles, yeah. aren't they? There's so many um, options with it. Yeah. And so, it's mm -hmm. it's just such a nice right. it's one of my favourite attachments, if not my most favourite one. It kind of really honest, yeah. opens up possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. Um, will it go back the other way? Mm -hmm. Or do you only go round clockwise? You only go round clockwise. Okay. <laughs> So if you go, if we were doing something like this, you would move your foot. Yeah. You, you've got to cut. Yeah. It has got to be cut up, yes. hasn't it? it well, no. But if you look at this, it's actually done. If you can see here, where it's been pieced, this has yes. actually been done afterwards. Yeah. So yeah, you yes. could actually have yeah. your quilt pieced. Yes. Um, and then but just come on with this afterwards, goes. and just mark. Your, you could use this as your centre point. Yes. And again, photocopy all the little pieces like this. Yes. I've got them here. So you've got all these photocopies, so then you can mark it and then you know exactly where you're going. Yeah. Designing. But you're right. I would write on the back what I've got the width set on it. Oh yes, I'm, I'm a great believer in putting things because you because you you, 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 yeah. you won't remember. You'll have been asleep no. in between. You oh, won't gosh, remember no, for, always, yeah. between designing or whatever. Or the cat came and moved it all. Yeah. Um, but this, I mean, you're right. This makes absolute phenomenal border. border. And then you you could just think about the corners, maybe, yeah. or maybe you could have a just a, a quarter circle a, in the corner, or, yeah. or a whole circle in yes, the corner. Yes, you could. There's just so many. <gasps> and if you had a wider piece, there's nothing to stop you joining on and coming out again. With another one. Okay. Okay. Well, I think you um, shopping. Um, my shopping list is going to have going to a grow. lot more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot more are, variegated just, threads yeah. and my and this attachment. And this, what I will say, if you're doing multiple circles, you start and finish. Make sure you stagger it. Oh right. Because oh okay. The chances yes. are you won't join perfectly. And if you're starting and finishing in the same place, you'll see, if you move it even an inch around, you will not see all the different and start finishes. We, we looked on the back here, which is, is the fixing stitch and the scissors yes. here. Uh, are we going to get too anxious about the, the pattern what where you come out these, of the middle? When I get to the end, I will usually not cut the threads. If I'm doing something special, I will yeah, take them give out, cut a them with a long thread, and then tie it off on the back. Just yeah, to be on and the you could side. just if you, if you stopped a little bit short, then you've got a bit of thread, haven't you, to I just do a little so hand. Hand. Do a little Nobody is going to inspect this, and, and unless unless you're entering this into a competition, girls, no, the quilt police no, really no, won't be doing won't. It. <laughs> Uh, it's just, and again, as you know, as you're coming up to the end, just slow it right down so you just see, maybe not quite so slow, but you can just really see where you're going then. But that foot allows you, has got great visibility on it, it so on yes. It. Okay. So yeah. I'm yeah. just going to, and again, if you just want one stitch, needle up and needle down will take you one. Okay. That's always worth yes. it. I'll do that again, and then I'll probably stop on here. Okay. Needle up. Here I will take it out. Mm. And pull it out to one side, and I'll cut. Ooh, I'll cut yeah, this be careful with the of your project on that. Huh? Yeah. 
So it does help to be left-handed. And again, you see, I've got a long thread there, so I yeah. would just literally put yeah. one stitch across. I, mean, I agree with you. Just I one agree stitch across just to finish it off. And but if you, you stagger your start and finishes, then you won't notice them. But it's just a fabulous it's attachment, really this. Yes, yeah. I think you need one in your life. Absolutely. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jane.